Unless you really enjoy it, color grading can be one of the most tedious tasks to a project. You know, it could be because you have so many different clips to color grade, things could be shot on different cameras or in different settings. Whatever the reason is, color grading can be very, very tedious to get done. So I wanna share with you a few different tips that can make this process a little easier, a little quicker, and in general, just improve that workflow. Now, some of these may be very basic and you may already know, but hey, we are all learning here. So if you have any more yourself, make sure you drop them down in the comments. So the first tip that I wanna share is so basic that I'm not even gonna count it towards the three tips of this video, which is where you can apply the grade to all of your clips. So let's say right here, as you can see this shot, I have a girl who's about to deadlift um, and it's already been the grade. You can see the no tree here, everything's already done. If I go to another shot, a similar shot to where she's lifting it at a different angle, you can see the grade has not been done. You know, it's still in S log three. So all you need to do is go to this clip, right click, go to apply grade, bang. Now that same grade from the previous clip is gone and you can do this multiple clips. Let's say I select all of these, go to apply grade. Now they all have the grade on it, as you can see. Just like I said, way too basic. So yeah, let's get into tip number one. There may have been a time that you color graded something so well that you just look at it and think, wow, the way you put the teal into those shadows, the orange and the highlights, and the colors just complementing each other all over the place. And you just think, I wish I could have that grade across all of my projects. Well, quite simply, you can. In DaVinci Resolve, you can do something called a power grade where you can save that grade that you've put on one clip and put that in any clip across any project. So once you're finished and you're happy with your grade, all you need to do is right click on the image, go to grab still, and what that's gonna do is capture all the information inside the grade. It's gonna take a still image of that video and save all the information of the grade in that still image. Now, whenever you open this project, it will be there in the stills, but if you want this across all of your projects, regardless of what project you're operating in, all you need to do is drag this still into your power grade option, and then now it's there. So now whatever project you open, you will always have that still there. So I use this quite often for my YouTube videos because I'm filming a similar talking head setup with similar lighting or similar white balances. So all I need to do is grab a still from one setup, put that into the power grade, and now I can use this across all of my different YouTube videos. Simple. Now this next tip is super useful when you do need to shot match different clips. You know, something could be shot on different settings, the white bands could have changed, the sun could have gone to a different position or some different cameras. But there are those times that you do need to match some clips to make them look like they are shot together. Well, something you can do to make that whole process much easier is use a reference clip. Now in DaVinci Resolve, that is made so much easier by having an image wipe. So you can see straight away going between these two clips, the white balance is completely off. Now I could try to adjust it manually and keep going back and forth, but instead, what you can do, as you've taken a still and you have a reference of where you want your white balance to be, all you need to do is have this image selected, go to this button here, which is called image wipe, and now you have it as a half and half break. You can drag this across so you can see where it is you need to adjust it. So I know for one, I need to adjust my white balance. So let's make this a bit more to the blue side adjust it say about there and then we also need to bring up the exposure so as you can see having them side by side just makes it that much easier where you can look at the colors at the same time and you can change that up by going from a instead of a side by side you can go for a half and half or a diagonal those are the kind of main three i use there is this like overlaying thing but i don't really see why i would need that but yeah Having this and you're going, being able to adjust the different angles just makes it that much easier for you to shot match any clip. And the last tip is for when you're experimenting. You know, you might not know what type of look you wanna go for. You know, the director might want more of a cooler look, whereas you want more of a warmer look. Whatever it is, what you can do on DaVinci Resolve is have grade versions. So this is the grade that I've had across all of my projects. If I wanted to try something new or maybe try one of the LUTs I have, all I need to do is press Command Y and as you can see, a color grading version has been added. Now, to save time, I have already added a few different versions and to go across them is Command N or Command B to go back and forth. So if I go to color, you can see what I'm talking about. On grade version, you have previous, next, add or default. So the default is the first version going there, but you can go to the next version, Command N, see a lot here, another version here, another version there, but it's 
yeah, the original. But as you can see, you can go different versions. So if you have a different direction that you'd like to try and take the grade in, this is a safe way to do it without disrupting any of your previous work. So that is it. Those are my tips to help you improve your workflow on DaVinci Resolve. Of course, this is a massive program, so I've definitely missed a few. If there are any that you think would be valuable, make sure you drop them down below in the comments. But with that being said, if you have got a lesson, laugh, or a light bulb moment from this video, I really appreciate if you drop a like down below. And if you're feeling actually nice, you could hit the subscribe button, but I'll leave that option up to you. See ya.